exercises, games, and activities is what you can expect from PE at home, and it starts right now. And today we're going to play a fun arcade game called Table Hockey. So let's see what materials you're going to need to play this game. Okay, so you're going to need yourself a nice clean table. You're going to need yourself two uh, towels. I just use regular bath towels that you could put on either side of your uh, table so that you kind of have openings on the, on the outsides for you to score. I cut out a, uh, just a cardboard a circle here and that's going to act as our puck and then we have two options of what we could use to um, hit our puck with. One is just a regular paper plate and another one is just a regular solo cup. So we're going to have uh, a little bit of help today. My wife, Miss Coach, uh, Coach Lockridge, and you'll be seeing my son pop in and out here every now and then. There he is there, that's Grayson. Okay, so I'm going to take the hockey puck. I'm going to take the, the flat end of my, uh, my um, paper plate and we're going to start playing. Let's just practice right now. You see, it goes back and forth. If you want, you can practice just to kind of get the idea of how to uh, hit with the paper plate. Yeah, you might want to put your whole hand on it, push it back and forth, just like that. Okay, and you can, you're guarding your area. Now, let's try with our, our plastic cup. Okay, so now we're gonna use our solo cups. You're gonna use the lip of the cup to uh, face down onto the table, okay? And it might be a good idea for you to get a family member's permission to use these on the tables, just because we're, I'm not sure what kind of table you have, you don't want to scratch up your table, okay? So it looks like Grayson's going to join in on this game, and again, we're just going to practice hitting back and forth, back and forth. And I think I like the solo cups a little bit more than I like the paper plates, so you can make that decision. Let's hit it a couple more times. Grayson, try to hit it. Hit it, Grayson. Hit it. And that's our practice. So now let's have a little competition. Okay, so at my house, we're really competitive. So we're gonna play a little game right now and see who could score the most. We're actually gonna go to three points. So the first person to three will win. Ooh, and Christina scores the first point. And now it's all tied up. One to one. Help, Grayson, help. Can I do it? Yeah. Good job. Ooh, I blocked it. <laughs> oh, that's out. Let's keep it. Oh, good. Two to one. Two to one. Okay, Grayson, your turn. It's y'all's, Grayson. You can have that. You want to hit it? Hit it. Okay, you ready, Grayson? Good hit. Ooh, close. Oh, that went over. That went over the, the blanket. Oh, it slid under her cup. That was a good game. So remember, if you play against somebody, make sure that you're being a good sport about it. Make sure that you're not bragging about it. That's having uh, integrity and humility against, with your opponent that you might be playing against. Okay, everyone, I hope you 
enjoyed uh, our table hockey game. Uh, try it out at home. Remember, make sure that you get permission uh, to use certain things on your tables because you don't want to scratch it up. If you have another way of playing it, try it. See if it works. And remember, if you're competing against a friend, a family member, and you win, or even if you lose, make sure that you're showing humility, integrity, you're being honest, and you're uh, being fair with uh, the person you're playing against. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next time on PE at Home.